Okay, so I'll show you what we've done to this vehicle so far. We have the extended hitch for those who like to tailgate. Yeah, that'll take your radiator out. All right, and it's got the lock on it and everything. Got a high dollar pin at Harbor Freight and the hitch at Harbor Freight. Okay, so this is Belay Grills. And the uh, cow bumper thing. Now, the cow bumper thing uh, was not totally the easiest thing to put in. Okay. This has two bolts that go underneath. But it's really, really heavy. And you have to lay a towel down so it doesn't hit the concrete and, and get scratched. And um, it takes two people, three people would even be better to put it in. Okay, so uh, we had put that in first and then uh, had problem with the Blake grill people we ordered from. They sent us some trash. So I had to wait for the new grills. Uh, and so I um, had to take the cow bumper back off to access this one. Now, it was really tight and uh it will scratch so you've got to get it bent around real carefully and you got to be really careful bending it because it will destroy it um this is uh overlays these are overlays they're not complete replacements they're overlays so uh I, i've been a little bit to clear this corner because it was scratched on the paint but it still needs to be revised because i've got it a little bit off on, on this side I need to move it a hair over so it's only on a couple of the mounts and the mounts are just like little hooks um uh, actually this one's got long bars behind it and you screw into the long bar from the front um that one's hard to get to because you got to go under the car take that grill off and take the, the oil uh pan cover underneath the big protective metal cover underneath the car off uh, which is like four bolts for that um, and then the upper grill, uh, that's kind of a big trick because you have to take the grill. I thought I was going to have to saw up the, the, the grill underneath because you can't really remove it because it holds the latch down. So then I decided to see how far off it was and I actually was able to mold this, this belay grill to kind of fit way better as an insert than have to destroy the other one. And I put black duct tape over the V8 part because I didn't have time to argue with how to get that off and place it on here. So I just put some black duct tape on it so when it's rubbing or whatever it won't destroy it and it'll keep the original grill in. Um, I had to bend it gently this way and some of it this way uh, and then move some of these end pieces to try to get it to fit a little better without scraping up the paint. I've got to take it back out and trim some of this stuff here um, because I laced this one with screening to keep the bugs out so it wouldn't clog up the condenser or radiator. Um, but it is in. Okay, and uh, this is the aluminum version, which I'd have much rather had the steel version like I have on the Cadillac. But uh, all in all, it looks pretty cool. Um, it just takes a lot of work to get this one right. You have to be really, really careful so you don't damage it. And doing these end pieces, you can try to bend them with your fingers by hand. And at one point, you're going to need pliers and um, a paper towel to wrap around this part because you'll chew it up with the tool. But you got to bend them really slow and really careful. It takes a lot of time to fit it and get it right. Like even this bottom part could be bent a little bit more to accommodate but it's okay for now I'm much happier because before it was really sticking out bad um, so uh, there it is and, uh, looking good yeah see and my DeLorean the front end of my DeLorean is going to look like that yeah talk to you later hope you have a great one hope that helped you